What's good guys, welcome back to yet another haul. Just uh, one second. Yeah, just uh, cranking a monster energy. It's the middle of the night. Just finished work and I thought I'd shoot this haul. I'm in the middle of doing a lot of TikTok content, so gotta keep energ energized. Well, yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, I have a bunch of pre-orders, I have some stuff I have a, a single novel here that I, um, I I backed on Kickstarter that showed up, and um, a new two new series. Let's see, I think three new series actually. But yeah, let's just uh, get into it. Oh no, one of them messed up. Yeah, let's just start with the new stuff. So uh, I bought the entire series of. Uh, Banana fish, so volume one, volume two, three, four. These volumes are pretty ugly. Um, but I thought the collection needed some some famous shoujo in there, so I heard banana fish is supposed to be pretty decent. And um there's volume seven, eight, sorry for the glare, I'm still using the echoey room. Just my office isn't completely set up yet. But we're getting there. I have more shelf, shelf space now, which is great. 10, 11. This one actually kind of reminds me of Joey or Junochi uh, from Yu Gi Oh! Uh, 12, 13, and the last handful of Banana Fish volumes. So if you've read Banana Fish, let me know down below what you thought of it. No spoilers, of course, but just. Uh, what a little insight into what I can be expecting. Um, yeah, volume 19. So that's the entire series, I believe. And I also picked up another Shoujo or Jose series. I, th I think it, it's released by Shoujo Beat, but it, it might be Jose. Can't be completely sure. Because I didn't research it. So, uh, But it's Nana, volume 1 and volume 2. And volume three. And I will be picking the rest of the series up. Uh, also heard this one's really good. Uh, so we'll see. It's good to have some variety in, in the collection. So that was one box. Uh, let's do the non manga stuff now, I guess. Uh, so I have a, an English novel by... Uh, Fellow content creator Daniel B. Green. I supported this on um, on uh, Kickstarter, and uh, I, I listened to the audiobook and this for this. Like, if you watched uh, earlier videos of mine, loved it. It was really good, um, and this is just such a ni nice paperback. It's heavy, really well done. I think it is actually up for grabs still. On, on their store. Go check out Daniel's uh, YouTube channel. He, he, he'll most likely have links for everything. Um, but I, I did add on this beautiful holographic uh, bookmark that is actually signed. I did not remember that. So yeah, signature right there. Great. So that's... I forgot that I, that I bought a signed one. That's cool. But yeah, this, this is a beautiful bookmark. And the art is fantastic. Overall, fantastic job right here. Uh, and a good cyberpunk story, if you were having an itch um, for that genre. So yeah, that's the only novel I picked up, or Western novel. I do have a uh, very thick volume three of um, Misfit of Demon King Academy. Love this series. But this one's like twice as thick as the previous two volumes. I'm not, not sure why, but well, can't complain. Uh, let's see here. Actually, let's let's do this next. I picked up a Kindle Paperwhite. And so I, I've had the regular Kindle, the base model. I gave that to my brother. Upgraded to the Paperwhite. The size is a bit bigger, uh, more storage space, and just an overall higher quality product. But um, hopefully, I'll be reading more using this. I do prefer physical books, but this is just super convenient when you travel. 
Next up, we have a single manga, I believe, this time around. And it is Tower of God Volume 3 by Webtoon on Scroll. Not super into this series, but if you enjoy the anime, this is basically one to one adaptation of the first couple volumes so far. So I'll be reading this one eventually. I'm just glad to see more stuff get printed, basically. And now we have pre orders. So let's start off with the book that got warped because I had it in this box. So it is volume three of um, The Summer Her Tower Died. I enjoyed the first two volumes, so I'm excited to see where this goes. This is a very vibrant yellow. But yeah, this is gonna go <laughs> under a couple uh, of the deluxe edition um, Blade of the Model just to get it back flat. It's not too, nothing serious. No. No creasing anything, it's just warped a bit. And next up, we have uh, My Dress Up Darling Volume 11. Um, this series is going out of favor for me and a bunch of people because nothing's happening and it is just becoming melodramatic and <laughs> it has no like progress whatsoever. So, yeah, I'm definitely considering dropping this, but uh, at this point, I'm caught up online i'm just buying the volume not even unwrapping them or anything they're just going right in on the shelf uh, next up we have windbreaker volume 5 i really need to get into reading this this seems like it'd be right up my alley but uh y'all know how it is uh reading lock coming soon ish i guess it's been what half a year since i did one so i should have something to talk about uh, next up, we have something that I'm actually super excited to read. Renek from 24. Uh, what can I say? This is such a dumb series, but I enjoy it. it. It got me out of a reading slump and has ever since then been one of my like must read when I get them in. However, it's been a week since I got this package in, but been, you know, moving my uh, my office around and stuff. So I just haven't had the time to read anything, but uh, I'm getting back into it, guys, but uh, this one is definitely on the, the to be read. Then here we have the penultimate volume of Bakumon Katari. Um, yeah, there should just be one more, I believe. Or is this the final one? No, there should be one more. Uh, I, I believe. Um, I haven't checked this one out. Not sure where the story starts, where it ends. If it covers the entire thing, I doubt it with only 21 volumes, but um, it is what it is. They have beautiful covers and uh, this is no exception. Uh, whoever uh, did these covers, I think, original story, design, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, beautiful. Volume 21. Uh, one thing that's not so beautiful about these series is the, the trim size. It's the wider, shorter, vertical uh, format, which I'm not a super big fan of because it, it's it's awkward with the rest of the, the manga in my collection. Next up we have Record of Ragnarok. I think this might be the first volume where they've gone away from the two uh, characters facing each other when it comes to the cover. Not sure why. I have only read two volumes of this. Uh, this fell off. This fell off the face of the earth. Basically, nobody's talking about this series anymore. Uh, you talked about it before it came out because it was coming out, and then a couple volumes in, and it just kind of disappeared. So I don't know. It happens a lot in manga. This is volume ten, so it's actually a, a good bunch out. Um, but yeah, I, I guess it's a fine series from what I read so far. So. This will be read eventually. <laughs> and next up we have Miyoko-chan, um, volume 9. Uh, freaky cover, probably some hentai artist out there who's taken this scenario and done something else with it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I haven't actually read this series. I, I watched the anime and thought, you know what, I was in a store, so I picked up the first few volumes and just been picking it up ever since. It's a fine series, nothing spectacular, but nothing bad either. Uh, next up, something I'm actually super excited about, um, which is... Uh, 
Goku Goku Raku guy. Goku guy. Goku Raku guy. Goku Raku. Let's see. Can we make it? Goku Raku guy. Volume one. A uh, good series so far. Um, the mangaka had a bunch of trouble keeping up, so now it's monthly, but it's not always coming out monthly, so it's like releasing super slowly. There was, I remember the chapter where shit like went downhill, it was basically sketches, like rough drafts, rough drafts being handed, handed in, and that was just not okay. Of course, if you can't keep up, you gotta change the the release schedule, and they did, which is good, instead of just forcing it. And Volume 1 is a, is a great read, and uh, hopefully this series sticks around, because I really like the characters and the art. It is very much reminiscent of something like Black Torch, um, what's the new one they made? Uh, also kind of Blue Exorcist, stuff like that. Uh, so it's like supernatural, modern, fantasy with a great character design. I mean, look at these two. I don't know, this character uh, kind of reminds me of, of Draken from uh, Tokyo Avengers, and then this character definitely reminds me of Rin from Blue Exorcist. And let's see, next up we have Undead Unlocked Volume 15. This looks like it would be a important volume, just looking at the cover. Um, but you never know. I don't know, not super big into this series. I'm enjoying it, but it's not like something I'm putting on top, like, like I'm moving to uh, like top of my uh, TBR. Definitely just accumulating volumes at this point. Same thing with um, Mission Yuzakura Family. This is volume 10, there's already 10 out. Uh, in this one, I I enjoyed what I read somewhat, but it's not like super memorable or anything. I do not remember any of the names or anything. Uh, I just remember that it, it it's kind of fun, but that's it. But yeah, volume 10. This cover's pretty, you know. Next up, we have Shy Volume 6. This is releasing somewhat slowly. I haven't checked it out yet, though, but yeah, Volume 6. Uh, I thought we'd have more at this point, but it is a Yen Press series, so... It is a bit slower to release. Maybe we are caught up. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into the series much outside of recommendations and comparisons to My Hero Academia, but darker, I guess people are saying, but no clue. Haven't read it yet. And we have Jujutsu Kaisen, volume 22. Uh, very overrated, in my opinion. Uh, it's a good series, but it's very, very overhyped. Uh, Twitter is definitely souring my opinion of this. I'm enjoying it, but I am not as hooked as other people. The anime is great, super beautifully animated by MAPPA, and uh, they're doing a great job, but the fans are something else. And let's see here, we have Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest. A beautiful cover, honestly. Uh, I have no idea who these characters are. Uh, I guess we have Rogue and St what are they? Is this Sting? Oh, I can't remember the names. So bad at name, guys. But yeah, we have the Light and Dark Dragon Slayers. Not so these guys. I think th she's at least a like key user, uh, summoner, whatever. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> 15 volumes out already of 100 year quest. I wonder how long this one's gonna be. Um, I mean, I love fairy tales, so I don't, I'm not gonna complain about them continuing for, um, for forever basically. Two volumes left. Let's, uh, there we go. <laughs> Let's go with Orient volume 19. That's a lot of volumes, honestly. We are on our way to catching up with uh, Magi, so. We'll get there eventually, but Orient, I am a few volumes behind, so I have no idea where the, where the story is going. It was starting to get pretty decent, but nowhere near, Ma near Maki, but still a, a good seven and a half series, in my opinion. And then we have, lastly but not least, 
uh, Chain Soldier Volume 7. Great little etchy comedy series um, with a lot of action. A lot of etchy, that's the reason why it's wrapped, but it's not that bad actually. The end press, so decent release. Quality is on par with Kodansha. Kind of slow release, but it is what it is. That's all the manga, books, and stuff that I bought in, I guess, um, April? Yeah, April. I've gotta remember, it. it's the beginning of May right now, so yeah, April. Um, I know the content has slowed down a bit on the channel, but that's just the way of things. Uh, the, the drive to make long form content isn't there right now. But I am super active on my TikTok. It's also Cast Collects. Go check it out. I'm currently in the middle of doing a uh, series where I look at my favorite covers for every single manga series I own. So that's good. I've got like 21 TikToks out, two bonus TikToks, and 19 uh, days. I had to take a few days off to fix my room and stuff. Uh, but I also do like clothing hauls and pack openings and a lot of nerdy stuff over there. So go check out the TikTok if you were missing the content. I'm still going to be doing these uh, longer hauls on here and the uh, reading log is going to come out eventually. And um, I know at the end of year, the year I'm planning on doing like a tier list of stuff I've uh, consumed. I'm keeping a spreadsheet this time around instead of just a... Uh, um, a text document on my laptop, so I'll actually be able to use it. But yeah, that's uh, everything for this time, guys. See you guys in the next video.